sisters. I have to say a special thank you to Vlisco for the fabric and of course to you, Harriet of Paris Fashions for my outfit. Now on to the business of the day, or the second part. Um, this year has been, 2015 has been quite a year where everybody's talking, especially about homosexuality um, and gay marriages and the like. And you bring it back to Ghana or down to Ghana, and I dare say majority of Ghanaians are saying no to gay practices in Ghana. All right, I have a gentleman here, Orlando Wilson, who says he is gay. And he would like us to openly have that conversation. But of course, we're not going to show his face to protect his identity. Goodness knows what could happen. But Orlando, you're welcome to The One Show. Thank you. You want to have a conversation about being gay as openly as possible. Yes. Why? Uh, the reason is because in one thing I always thought of is that mm -hmm. prejudice always comes when there is no opinion. And most okay. people prejudice because maybe they are ignorant about something. So when we talk it openly, they will understand that being gay is natural. We are made that way. Okay. You feel and you are strongly saying that you were born gay. I was born gay, yeah. And you knew that you were born gay how? Um, I've never had any feeling for a woman before. Okay. I can see you are beautiful, mm -hmm. but maybe in the sexual way you don't attract me. But you feel that way towards men? I feel that way towards men. Since what age? I can't remember the exact age I mm -hmm. started feeling sexual attraction towards men. But, at, but at, at, at what point in time did you know and did you say to yourself, oh, I am gay? When I heard people talking about gay thing. Mm. How old were you? I was 12 years then. You were 12? Yes. Mm. So I realized that I was gay because I heard that there were people who were doing it men to men and women to women. So I now understand that that's where I belong to. Did you talk to anybody about this? Mm, I talked to my pastor about this. And what did your pastor have to say? Uh, before I talked to my pastor, I've already engaged in it and I was sacked from church. Wait, you had <laughs> engaged in having sex with a man? With a man already. Before you came and told your pastor about yes. it? Yes. So you told your, told your pastor about it and you were sacked from the church? From the church. Um, and why would you say you were sacked from, from the church? Did you know at that point why they were sacking you? They say it's not allowed in the church. Mm -hmm. That's just the reason they told me. Okay, so let's fa fast forward to now. How old are you now? I'm 22 now. You're 22. So this yes. is 10 years ago that it happened. So now yes. you're 22 and you see that there's a conversation around being gay. Yes. But you look at our culture and you look at our tradition. You okay. look at our, our, our values as Africans. Do you think that it is right for us to practice these kinds of things in, uh, in this part? And, and tell me very, tell me very, this is an open it's, conversation. It's not something that maybe, mm -hmm. as people say, that homosexuality is something which was imported into Africa mm -hmm. so that people should be homosexual. Mm -hmm. I don't see it that way. Mm -hmm. And anybody who wants to argue, you should go and ask their grandfather mm -hmm. about the story they, their grandfather told them about Kojo Besia. Kojo Besia had been in Africa long ago. Mm -hmm. So we don't, it was not the white people who brought Kojo Besia into Ghana. It was here. <laughs> it was here. So are you saying that because, mm -hmm. well, based on your research and Kojo Besia and all of that, mm -hmm. well, if it was here, then we should openly discuss it. We should discuss it at the government level. We should discuss it at, the, at every social level. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. But just mm -hmm. that we are of the minority, not the majority. Do you know many gay people? I know many gay people. I've come in contact with so many gays, mm -hmm. gays from every part of Ghana. Mm. Every part of the world, I've met so many gays. Okay, hang on. Do we have somebody on the line, did you say? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Your name, please, and where you're calling from. Hello, my name is David. Yes, David, go ahead. Your opinion on the conversation I'm having with Orlando. Yeah. I want to ask Orlando that, um, um, does, does he think that um, being a gay, um, it doesn't go with um, what the Bible says? So I'm, I want to ask him um, if he thinks that he will go to heaven mm. with this act. Okay, thank you. Orlando, would you uh, think you'll go to heaven? There is actually nowhere in the Bible that speaks against homosexuality. Okay. People always try to like twist the Bible to support that mm -hmm. that's against homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Because mostly they use the story about Sodom and Gomorrah and then they say um, some men from Sodom came to have, want to have sex with their um, visitors of Lot. Mm -hmm. But looking at that story, it's a gang creep. They want to gang creep the visitors, not that they want to just have some 
commitment or some relationship of uh, maybe boyfriend, girlfriend. Okay, so Orlando, that. ask a question. I mean, if you feel so strongly that this should be an open conversation, why don't you like to show your face, that, to show your community like, that, you know, after all, church cast you out. Why don't you tell everybody, well, this is who I am uh, and this is how see, I was born. Uh, one thing is, there mm -hmm. is a religion called the Jehovah's Witnesses. Right. During Rowland's time, the Jehovah's Witnesses hide in, uh, in the bush mm -hmm. and some hiding house to right. make their meeting simply because Rollins was there was a persecution on them mm -hmm. that doesn't mean what they were doing was bad okay so how does that relate to what you're saying what it relates is that what we are doing we know that there is nothing bad with it mm -hmm. there is nothing bad with it, but it's how aggressive the people around us are so when you say that we you mm -hmm. exist in a community so you know yourselves you are friends so you do your meetings privately <laughs> you meet each other privately H how does it work we don't meet ourselves privately mm -hmm. but uh one thing is when you see a gay guy mm -hmm. the spirit tells you that oh, wow. this guy is a gay the spirit yes the spirit tells you orlando when you study gayda we call it gayda it's called what gayda gayda uh, yeah g-a-y-d-a d-a-r D A R, yeah. gaydar. gaydar. So, like radar. <laughs> okay. So, when you study it, you are able to identify who is gay. So, how does it work? You walk into a room and you use your gaydar. No, when you see the person outside, not maybe. Oh, so say like if you walk into a, into a, a gathering. A so in this room, yeah. you can just look at my studio audience and say, Gaydar tells me, oh, 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 <laughs> this oh. This person might be that gay. That guy's gay. Mm. Sarah's on the line. Hello, Sarah. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, Sarah. Your contribution, please, dear. Please, um, he was saying that in the Bible, there is no way in the Bible that talks against homosexuality. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make this clear by giving him a quotation in the Bible that proves that um, those who engage in homosexuality are not going to inherit God's kingdom. And that is in the Second Corinthians, First chapter, Corinthians six, chapter 6. The verse. Nine. Sarah, read it to me. Yeah, go ahead. Hello. I'm listening. Hello. Read it to me. Go ahead. You can find that that is First uh, Corinthians six verse nine through ten. Mm -hmm. It talks about homosexuality as an act that Jehovah God does not. Oh, we lost Sarah. I think. So you. Uh, according you, you to what the verse, verse she is quoting is mm -hmm. uh, first Corinthians chapter six. She, did she say seventh or she said first? first it's, okay. She doesn't know the verse. We know oh, the wow. verse. You, you, <laughs> the gay people? We know all, all those verses that they are quoting. We uh -huh. already know it. That's why I can publicly say the Bible is not against homosexuality. No problem. But mm -hmm. you know what? I understand. Mm -hmm. Today's episode we're talking about social, you know, prejudices. Mm -hmm. Obviously the way people feel about it. Now I've lived in, in, in Canada mm -hmm. and in Canada every year there was, you know, a gay parade. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's your choice to pay attention and to go or not. It's mm. your choice to celebrate with them, mm. you know, or mm. not. A, a world that is very different from what we are mm. experiencing here mm. in yeah. Ghana, yeah. whereby a lot of people are of the vision that, no, I mean, being gay is against the Bible, it's against, you know, so many things. Mm. How long do you think it will take for the communities, the societies, to open their door and their arms, basically, to the gay community in Ghana? I can't see how long it would take. I, I'm sorry, I think we have somebody in the line. Hello, good evening. Hello? Yes, please. Good evening. Who am I speaking to? Abby. And good evening. Uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, go ahead, please. I'm listening. Uh, please, I'm ask Alan Lee, how did you get to know you? He's born a gay. Uh, you're supposed to be a gay. Oh, okay. I think he already said that um, he's, he wants to know how you knew that you were gay. And I think I, he already I, said that... <laughs> at a, yeah, go ahead. At a young age. Yeah, at a young age, I realized I was gay when mm. people were even speaking against it. And then you were angry. I was not that angry, but I realized that if there are people who do that, mm -hmm. then I think I'm part of them. Because I don't have any feeling for a woman, but I okay. do have it for okay. men. Okay, so now so let's talk about uh, migration of uh, the Ghanaian mentality or mm -hmm. society to becoming um, open arm, to opening their arms towards you know gay people. Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll ever get there? We will get there. 
How long do you think it'll take us? Maybe to get there? not my lifetime, but mm -hmm. it will one day get there. I like that you're talking about lifetime. So, is this something you are advocating for? Are you working um, for the cause of Ghana being open to gays? I don't think I'm in a position now to do that. But I know there are people in a position who can't do that. People like the, who? The, <laughs> <laughs> I can't mention names now. Oh, no, but no, you don't have to mention their names. Mm. But, like, people, are, are they doctors? Are they lawyers? Are they... They are lawyers. They are lawyers? They are lawyers. They are in the government? <laughs> they are in the government. They are doctors? <laughs> they are doctors. So they do you know lawyers. them personally? Um, I've once had a contact with one before. But from which field? He's from the lawyer field. He's a lawyer. Yeah. A well-known lawyer. Hey, where's uh, Anas? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's a lawyer. He's, he's a, a lawyer? He's a well-known lawyer. He's a well-known lawyer. Yeah, yes. And you have an encounter, you had an encounter with him. Yes. Yeah? So, but I can't mention the name yet. No, I'm not asking you to mention it. But, but hang on, hang on to your thought, please. I have a call on the line. Hello? No, I'm not asking you to mention it. But hang on, hang on to your thought, please. I have a call on the line. Hello? No, I'm not asking you to mention it. Oh, I think we need to cut that line. Too much noise. Um, so yeah, go ahead. So you had an encounter with this very known, well-known well, You see, lawyer. one thing I've always seen is that, mm -hmm. you see, based on how people have been saying the Bible, the Bible, the Bible mm -hmm. thing, there happens to be one scientist called Copernicus, as long ago in the time of the Reformation. Mm -hmm. During that time, this scientist was able to discover that what we now know as the solar, solar system, now we now know as the solar system, that the sun mm -hmm. dwells in the center of the solar system mm -hmm. and not, uh, not the earth. But the churches quote different, different scriptures okay. against oh. this man, to speak against this man. Mm. But what the churches were against them is mm -hmm. now what they believe. So there's okay. churches is some way so, or somehow wrong about something. So, so you're saying that mm. eventually you think, you believe mm. that one day Ghana will say, you know, we... we, we I believe that one place. day things will change. I believe that one day All right. Will well, today we had a conversation mm. on social prejudices. You know, my man here, Orlando, has spoken about being gay and that he says one day things will change. And of course, I had Doris and Monica who came in with their own quote unquote inabilities or disabilities but those beautiful women ha they will take the world by storm.